Well, the process starts days before you actually start putting down any water on the slab. Uh, you have to bring the building down in temperature. Also, the slab has 292 individual pipes that run through it that have to be chilled down to minus nine. So then once the slab is down in temp and after it's been cleaned, you go and put down three seal floods with a 10-foot boom. It's three coats of that, three coats of white, which is mixed in with water. We spray paint, spray that onto the ice sheet. Then you go and you seal that paint in with more clear water uh, so that you're able to make a delineation between your white layer and your next layer, which is going to be laying out your lines. You uh, put the lines out, uh, twill them, paint them, and then we go and lay out uh, some more seal coats, put in the logos, freeze them in, start sealing in, more water goes out there. And after you've got about a quarter of an inch of ice out there, then we start turning on the flood hose. And after approximately 20 hours of doing hose floods, you have an ice sheet about one inch thick. What's unique is that you're able to temper a sheet of ice. Uh, what we do with that is we raise the temperature up to about approximately 24, 25 Fahrenheit. Once it's at that range, we go and do a hot uh, rag flood on top of the ice sheet, which uh, then brings it up a little bit more. After that, we start bringing down the temperature of the slab one degree Fahrenheit each hour. That allows the ice to solidify, harden, refreeze in a different crystalline structure and will make a harder, denser sheet of ice. Another thing that we do around here is we use rainwater. We harvest rainwater for making our ice sheet, which is a first for this type of building in the world.